It's really important for me to, to polish my flute on a regular basis. I actually do it every day because I play a silver instrument. And silver, as you all know, is very prone to tarnishing. Tarnishing is actually a chemical process where silver and sulfur interact. So anytime you see that black stuff on your instrument, that is a result of a chemical reaction with sulfur. And it actually produces the same chemical that's responsible for the smell of rotten eggs. So if you have a very badly tarnished flute, you can actually smell the tarnish on your hands and it's not terribly pleasant, but it's also very easy to remove tarnish. So if you have a solid silver instrument and you notice it's starting to look a little dull or maybe starting to turn sort of brown or black in certain places, a silver polishing cloth will probably be the ticket there. It's really important to not use a silver polishing cloth on a silver plated instrument because there is a bit of an abrasive compound embedded in the cloth, and on a silver-plated instrument, it can actually remove the plating from the flute over time. But this isn't a worry on a solid silver instrument. And this, using one of these know, every couple of weeks or once a month or so, will keep tarnish from building up on your instrument in the first place. As will making sure that you wash your hands before and after you play, especially if you've eaten any food that has a lot of onions or garlic in it. Those foods tend to cause your body to secrete a lot of sulfur because they have a lot of sulfur in them. It's also very important to never put rubber bands in your case if you have a silver flute or any flute um, because rubber bands have an exceptionally high amount of sulfur in them and they will almost instantly tarnish your flute. I mean, we're talking in the, in the matter of two or three days, anywhere the rubber band has touched your instrument, it will blacken. So you really wanna make sure not to do that. Um, it is also very important that you never take one of those fluffy swab things and leave it inside the flute in the case. All that does is trap moisture inside the flute and it will cause mold and mildew to grow on your pads. And it, in some occasions, has actually led to very bad respiratory infections because you're breathing in these mold spores and bacteria. So never put the fluffy thing in your, in your instrument and leave it in the case. It is really important to allow your pads to fully dry, which is why you can't leave one of those inside, because when a pad gets wet, it stays wet unless it is allowed to dry with air circulation. And a wet pad will tear much more easily, and the only way to fix it at that point is to completely change it, and a repad on a flute can be very expensive. It is also vitally important that you put your flute away when you're done practicing. I know a lot of people like to just leave it together so you can just grab it and play it really quickly. Don't do that because the odds of something happening to it are far greater than the small amount of convenience you gain by not putting it away. You can knock it over. I, sometimes I've seen people sit on them accidentally. You know, if you have pets or, or young children running around, it can just be terrible for the instrument. And also, if you leave the instrument together for too long, particularly if you have a solid silver or solid gold or solid platinum instrument or gold plated even, the joints can actually fuse together and it becomes impossible to take the flute apart. So I would highly recommend that every time you play, take the flute apart, clean the tenons, swab it out so that it's extra dry. Make sure that when you look inside the flute, you can't see any droplets of moisture.